Jaymuk is a leading spa health resort in Armenia and is unique in the world with its healing properties. It is located in the southeastern part of Armenia, in the upper reaches of the Arpa River, at an altitude of 2,100 meters above sea level and 173 kilometers away from Yerevan. Plateau, on which the resort town of Jermuk is located, is surrounded by alpine meadows and four-seat mountains, the height of which is 2,500 to 3,000 meters. The air of Jermuk is absolutely clean, dust-free with a sweet aroma of alpine flowers. Jermuk is a water-rich settlement, with numerous springs of cold and hot mineral water coming from the depths of the earth, which are used for drinking and treatment. Jermuk is world famous for its 40 healing hot springs. It is rich in its biodiversity, beautiful places, wonderful waterfalls, canyons, rocks and mountains. The area of the city is 2,100 hectares, of which 1,600 are covered with forests and only 100 hectares are constructed. Jermuk is one of the beautiful corners of Armenia where people come for treatment and rest. Whoever comes to Jermuk once falls in love with it and never forgets its wonderful nature. The healing fresh waters, the forest, the glorious waterfall, the flowers, the invigorating air, and of course the kind people. All permissions on Amosar project have been issued by the violation of environmental legislation of Armenia and international conventions. This project has many negative effects. Particularly, being the watershed the basin of Lake Sewan, it will pollute the largest freshwater reservoir in the region. There are two rivers and two reservoirs that will be completely polluted and that dams can be damaged due to acid drainage, causing a major disaster. Water springs will dry due to the usage of the drinking water for mining, which consequently will damage forest and biodiversity including many red book species and will create social problems that will mainly affect women. As a result of explosions, hot springs of mineral water may disappear or become polluted. Exit drainage is uncontrollable and has great risks. Seismic instability is high and could damage cyanide reservoir in Amosar. The risk of landslides is high, which can also cause damage to the dams. The air will be polluted there will be noise which is not compatible with the resort town. The level of radiation will increase, which will have a negative impact on human, in particular women's and children's health. Migration corridors of wild animals will be destroyed. We will be lost about 80 ancient historical monuments from stone and bronze ages. The landscape will be damaged, which will affect the attractiveness of Jermuk. Public hearings were not held, Jermuk citizens' rights were violated and people of Jermuk have been fighting for years against the opening of the mine to protect their rights. I'm Mane, a student of Jermuk school. I will be a doctor in future. The operation of the mine can result in a great catastrophe for my city and my country. The air can be polluted, the radiation can increase, that can cause oncological and other diseases. As a result of explosions, water sources may be lost. Water will be polluted with cyanide, which will flow into Arpa, and as we know, Arpa flows into Lake Sevan and Arad Valley. Mineral water is the gold of our city. It has a healing power, and people come to Jermuk for that water. Mine operation will have bad consequences for this water. We must protect our city and we must do everything to ensure that future generations have a healthy environment and well-being. I am Larisa Rogova. I came to this beautiful resort of Jermuk from Russia. I admire clean air, water, this piece of paradise. During my stay here, I learned that near the resort town, open pit gold mining will take place, which will lead to air, water and land pollution. If this happens, the resort will not have a value, and there will be no purpose to come here. And I want to return to this paradise more than once, get treatment, drink this water, breathe this wonderful air, see this beautiful place again.
Jenmuk is a health resort which improves people's health. Nobody will come to rest in case of pollution and radiation. Spas and hotels will close and women will lose jobs because they mainly work in tourism and service spheres which will become vulnerable. When construction began, the company rented a number of spas and hotels for own specialists and workers from other regions. All the workers, most of whom were women, lost their jobs and livelihoods. Number of visitors of Jermuk reduced, and people lost income. Two, three months a year, people rent their apartments to tourists and live on that money all year round. Most of the women collect medicinal plants, berries, mushrooms, and other edible plants. In case of operation of the mine, all the fields and the forest will be polluted. Those plants will not be suitable for use. In environmental and social impact assessment, it's mentioned that criminal and sexual harassment will increase in Jermuk, because a large number of men workers will come from other regions without families. It will affect families, women, youth and demography. The entire teaching staff and students are against the opening of a gold mine in the resort area of Jermuk. For many years, we have been fighting against this evil. Mount Amalsar, where gold should be mined, is very close to the resort town and is visible from our balcony. In general, it is unacceptable that gold is mined in the resort area. This will negatively affect the population, in particular women. The mine will be opened, gold will be mined, workers will come and go, and we will be left alone with this disaster. Now, drinking water all over the world is worth gold, and we are losing our springs. After the opening of the mine, what will happen to drinking water? what will happen to mineral water that treats millions of people. It all started in 2006. Jermuk with its magnificent nature can be transformed to a mining settlement and stop being a spa resort center. Leading International registered in the offshore zone of Great Britain through its negative light on the German brand. Open pit mining of gold is planned at the site, which is officially registered as a uranium and thorium mine. The gold will be extracted by cyanide with its own negative effects. During the construction phase, the pastures of the neighboring village have already been damaged. The apricot orchards have been cut down. The drinking water is polluted and radiation level has already increased. As a result of explosions, we can lose the sources of healing mineral water and the sources of drinking water will be polluted. All experts, including international ones, unanimously say that the acid drainage will pollute the waters of the region, including Lake Savan. The air of Jamuk will be polluted. The rich biodiversity will be destroyed, including many species registered in the Red Book. The level of radiation will increase and landslides will occur. By exploiting the mine, Jamuk will stop being a spa resort. The residents will lose their jobs, health, their living environment will change. That is why the people of Jamuk have been fighting for years against the opening of the Amosa mine to protect their rights.